see what, what it is. Read your title and let's see what it is. Say my let's look at this word. Can you stretch that one out? What is that word? Made. Made. Uh huh. That's a space right there. Mm. I think it might go with this word. It kind of looks like it might. Looks like it might be made. Uh -huh. What do you think this word is? Just a T. No, it looks like an I that, from down yeah, there. I think that might make sense. No, wait. I think what maybe Marissa's saying. I what forgot to put a line down I here. Go the other so I can. I made a corn. Okay, and that's a good picture. Oh, I love the picture of it. That's my dad. That's my um, dad's dad. Um, do you like this? Oh, can we read this page? Tell me what's happening here. It took a long time. Oh. I just wrote that on a never page. Exact same thing. Oh, Did you forget that you had those words there already? Yeah. Or were you using repeating words? I was thinking words? when I wrote that, I already had that. Oh. Said it Sometimes we've read books where authors have repeating words. Remember? Mm -hmm. A lot of books that we read. So let's see if it makes sense for those words to repeat. Okay? This is what a... This is what Lego bricks look like. I and like your details. The color. Well, I was just telling you I like your details. And I'm not finished with this game. Here it's a very back thing. Mm -hmm. So. When you're thinking about and planning your book, do you think it makes sense for you to say those words again, or do you think they need to be something different? I think it makes sense. Okay. Why don't we do this? You remember we had a lesson today about planning our book before we begin writing it? Let's do that, okay? Let's go back to the beginning, and let's kind of just plan out what's going to happen on each page, okay? So we know on this page, it's, this is your title that says, I made a car. And in this page, you're kind of helping us know that it took a long time to make. And that's helpful because when we're reading it, we know that... Um, that this was something that you cared a lot about because you put a lot of time into it, okay? So, and then you tell us kind of like what you used to make it, that you used a lot of different color bricks, okay? And that kind of helps us know what it's made out of. So then think about when we're planning what we're going to say next, what do you think the reader might need to know? What other kind of things do you think are important to tell us? Let's kind of plan what's going to happen on each page. I think this page should, should say <coughs> Lego bricks are made out of I'm not sure even though I've been to a Lego factory. What do you think they're made out of? Mm, I know. Hard plastic. I think you're probably right. They feel like hard plastic. So that would be a good thing to say because some people aren't familiar with Lego bricks. No, no. So, mm -hmm. Okay, so you could say on this page that Legos are made of hard plastic. And what do you think would happen if you might say on this page? My brother Ethan has a lot of them. Oh, he does? He has like a whole cabinet full. Oh, okay, that's good for us to know. And then, what might you say on this page? Um, I might just draw a line right here, mm -hmm. <coughs> and and, and mm. say, Thank you. do you have Legos? And then they might say yes or no oh. on the line. You know, I like that ending. A lot of times, authors will do that. They'll end their books with a question, and it's kind of a different way to end a book. So I like your thinking a lot. That, 
Good writers do that. They plan their story, so now you know exactly what to put on every page. Yeah, I wish we could have, like, that five-hand thing. Oh, we have that five-hand thing, and it's available anytime you want it. It's right over in our um, writing station. Okay, can I write it right now? Sure.